Christ has entered into, not into a sanctuary made with hands, a copy of the true one, but into heaven itself. Not to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you. And thou glory to be, our only offend, and our only good of our We have not left you in our own heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we are not in the day. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, and the mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your way to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths are ready for our praise. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Hallelujah, Christ the Lord has ascended into heaven. Now, let us glory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not to the old man, the new man, the house of the people, nor to the new man, the bread of the spirit, and the river. Hallelujah. Christ be raised from the dead from the ground. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to 
in the book of Ezekiel. I don't usually do this. I want you to pay attention to how Ezekiel carries the sins of the people. This is, this is one of those prophecies when it says Jesus fulfills the scripture. I never, I've never saw it as clearly as I did this morning, but I want you to listen. We'll, I, we're just going to pause. Like I said, I don't typically do this, but I think it's important to take note of this. So it's from the fourth chapter of Ezekiel. The Spirit spoke with me and said to me, You, O mortal, take a brick and set it before you. On it, portray a city, Jerusalem, and put siege works against it, and build a siege wall against it, and cast up a ramp against it. Set camps also against it, and plant battering rams against it all around. Then take an iron plate and place it as an iron wall between you and the city. Set your face toward it and let it be in a state of siege, and press the siege against it. This is a sign for the house of Israel. Then lie on your left side and place the punishment of the house of Israel upon it. You shall bear their punishment for the number of days that you lie there. For I assigned you a number of days, 390 days, equal to the number of years of their punishment, and so you shall bear the punishment of the house of Israel. When, you've, when you have completed these, you shall lie down a second time, but on your right side, and bear the punishment of the house of Judah. Forty days I assign you, one day for each year. You shall set your face toward the siege of Jerusalem, and with your arms bared, you shall prophesy against it. See, I'm putting cords on you so that you cannot turn from one side to the other until you have completed the days of your siege. And you, take wheat and barley, beans and lentils, millet and spelt, put them into one vessel and make bread for yourself. During the number of days that you lie on your side, 390 days, you shall eat it. The food that you eat shall be 20 shekels a day by weight, at fixed times you shall eat it, and you shall drink water by measure, one-sixth of a hen, at fixed times you shall drink. You shall eat it as a barley cake, baking it in their sight on human dung. The Lord said, Thus shall the people of Israel eat their bread, unclean among the nations to which I will drive them. Then I said, O oh Lord God, I have never defiled myself. From my youth and up until now, I have never eaten what died of itself or was torn by animals, nor has carrion flesh come into my mouth. Then he said to me, See, I will let you have cow's dung instead of human dung, on which you may prepare your bread. Then he said to me, Mortal, I am going to break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. They shall eat bread by weight and with fearfulness, and they shall drink water by measure and in dismay. Lacking bread and water, they shall look at one another in dismay and waste away under their punishment. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Canticle 9. Surely God has God to say, I will trust in him and I will pray. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense. He will be my sin. Therefore, we shall draw the world and rejoice. For the sinners of salvation, and on every day we shall say, Give thanks to the Lord, God of his name. And may his peace and honor and honor be to you. Reading from the 
Gospel according to Luke. When the days drew near for him to be taken up, Jesus set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On their way, they entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him, but they did not receive him because his face was set toward Jerusalem. When his disciples, James and John, saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them. Then they went on to another village. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Canticle 19. O ruler of the universe, O God, the great peace of the heaven we have died, the past and the understanding, the way of our ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all days, we are the joy of the Almighty Lord, and say the praise of your name. The rule of the Lord, our 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 God, the King of glory, you've exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Holy God, you called your servant to you proclaim the means of grace and the hope of glory to the peoples of the great plains. We give you thanks for the devotion of those who receive the good news gladly and for the faithfulness of the generation who have succeeded them. 
Strengthen us with your Holy Spirit that we may walk in your footsteps and lead many to faith in Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, so that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. Clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you through the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for the whole, the universal church, that she would be one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic. We ask your blessing on the Anglican Communion. We pray especially today in the Diocese of Caledonia and Canada. We pray for the Episcopal Church. Our presiding Bishop Curry, the Diocese of West Tennessee, our Bishop Phoebe and Ken Sharon, and the staff and leadership of the diocese. We pray for world leaders, our president, the Congress and Judiciary, state and local government, grant us peace and justice in the land, and overcome all the barriers which divide us. We lift you, St. Andrews. For our prayer work and study, our inreach and outreach, and our outreach partners. We pray for the clergy, staff, vestry, and land ministries. We ask you to guard us and guide us and make us holy and glorify your name among us. We pray for the poor, the sick, and the needy, and those who serve their needs. We pray for deliverance from sin and death the gift of your Holy Spirit in our spiritual warfare, that you would deliver us from the world, the flesh, the devil, from sin and death. In the Diocese and Cycle of Prayer, we lift up St. Columba Camp and Retreat Center and the Diocese, the Diocese of West Tennessee Haiti Partnership. And today we pray for the conversion of all people to Jesus Christ and for the faithfulness and repentance of the God, Father of our mercies, we are the Lord of servants, we give humble thanks. For we are witness of the kindness, of the small and deep in the air. We bless you for our creation, preparation, and all the blessings of this life. For though all of you are made of blood, in the creation of the world, we are all of you in the sky, for the millions of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray and give us such an awareness of your mercy that we may be thankful for us. We can show what we will pray today, not only with our lips, but in our mouth, by being able to accept to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all of our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom we do in the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory to our all ways. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thank you, God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.